Hello! Did you know you could tame creatures and other animals in Fallout 76? Have you wanted to tame a creature or animal only to fail miserably and slink away into oblivion feeling worthless? I know I have. But once I figured it out, I no longer feel ashamed of my failure. I think this little video of taming creatures and animals in Fallout 76 will solve all your problems. Or at least the taming creatures one will. So stick around and get the steps needed to do just that. In this video, we're going to cover just exactly what it will take to tame creatures in Fallout 76, methods to use for taming, locations of creatures to tame, and some of the pitfalls to avoid when you're out in the wild. Before we get started, I wanted to let everyone know that I'm the Naked Vault Dweller and I'm just an ordinary guy playing this exceptional game we call Fallout 76. If you would, please take this moment to hit the subscribe button on this video because I'm always putting out fresh content from Fallout 76 and I would love to have you part of this little corner I've carved out of YouTube. Okay, so here's the scenario. You're out hopping vendors when you notice a Deathclaw or a cat or a dog or a Yogwa just wandering some player's camp. Wow, I want that. You hop on Google and do a search on how to tame creatures in Fallout 76 only to come up with video on top of video that doesn't quite have all the answers. Do you know where to find the elusive Mega Sloth? Do you know what level you need to be to tame some of these creatures? Well, you've got questions and I've got answers. Well, to at least six of them. Question one, how much charisma do I need in order to tame a creature or animal? Okay, so there's a rumor you have to maximize your charisma to have the best possible chance to tame some of these creatures and animals. And based upon my experience, the rumor is pretty much false. But you do need some charisma points to make it all come together. When I tested this, I found no added benefit to cranking up your charisma past rank 6. In fact, I believe you could probably get by with just rank 2. Now, I like the character to test this theory with, but I'm relatively certain that you could do it with just rank 2 charisma. And don't waste your time moving points around to get your charisma up. I think the minimum will probably cover it. And if you have experience in that, please make sure to leave me a comment down below. In short, I feel charisma does play a role, but it is of the smallest parts. Question 2. What perk cards do I need to have equipped when attempting to tame a creature or animal? This is one of the questions I had from the start, and in some cases all I needed to have equipped was Animal Friend, while in other instances I needed to have both Animal Friend and Wasteland Whisperer. If you max out both cards, you'll need to have 6 available points in Charisma. If you don't have them maxed out, you'll need to have the correct amount of points in Charisma to allow you to have both equipped at the same time. And just a note, I truly believe you can get by without having to rank up any of these cards fully. The perk Animal Friend alone will allow you to tame small creatures like bunnies and cats and dogs, but if you want to get the big stuff like Death Claws, you must have the Wasteland Whisper equipped with Animal Friend. Question 3. What level do I need to be in order to tame a creature? Okay, this step probably won't make a lot of people happy, but I have to mention it as it's part of the mechanics of the game and you must know it before you get started. There is a level to everything you want to tame. The smaller the animal or creature is, the lower the level is going to be, which means the lower the level is required to tame the beast. With that being said, if you're going to tame a level 75 Deathclaw, you're going to need to be a level 150 to be able to tame it. The same rules apply if you're attempting to tame a level 100 creature, your character is going to need to be at least 200 to send it back to your camp. In the past, it was kind of luck of the draw for the creature level you would encounter, but ever since Bethesda released One Wasteland, everything you encounter is normally at this peak level. Question 4. What creatures am I able to tame and just how do I find them? Well, now that you have everything checked and you're ready to start taming, you can't simply walk up to any Deathclaw and expect to be able to tame it. Here's what happened to me when I tried to tame the one on Deathclaw Island. Although I don't have a complete list of all the creatures and animals that can be tamed, I know that the ones that can be tamed only appear in mysterious locations. And I hate to use the word magic here to describe the spawn locations, so we'll just call them mysterious. There are random encounter spawn locations all across Fallout 76's Appalachia. I have a map that I found on Reddit. It denotes these locations and I'll make sure to leave a link in the description of this map down below near the subscribe and thumbs up button. With so many locations, which spot is the best spot to check? Well, any of these mysterious spawn locations will do the trick as whatever spawns there is completely random and more often than not, you'll get a non-tameable spawn that looks like this. But sometimes, you'll get a random creature spawn in which you can tame. Which brings us to question 5, the one we've all been asking. How do I tame a creature or animal? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've devised a method that has worked well for me, maximizing my effort and my time. 
Now as you can see, there's tons of locations you can check for random spawns. Step one, find three locations within running distance of one another. Step two, fast travel to one of the locations and check what has spawned there. Once you've verified what it is, run to the next location to see what's there. Then finally, do the same at the last location. Once you've completed the cycle, simply log out of the server and log back in, hopefully hopping to a new server with fresh new spawns. I've server hopped quite literally hundreds of times in the course of the research of this video, so don't be surprised if it takes a little time getting the spawn that you want. You'll also need to bear in mind that each region of the map will have slightly different creature spawns. My goals were to tame a Deathclaw in Megasloth. Question 6. So naked, where the heck is the tameable Megasloth and Deathclaw? And like I said before, each region will have its own set of creatures and animals that you'll be able to tame. And after lots of server hopping, here are the locations of just a few of the creatures and animals I found and tamed. The Rabbit. Who wants a freaking rabbit? You want a house cat in your camp? And how about this attack dog? Brahmin. Moo. Rad toad. Yogwa. Ironically, the Death Claw spawned more often than any other creature. And yes, finally, after lots of looking and some good luck, the Mega Sloth. In conclusion, now that you have an understanding of how to find and tame animals and creatures, there's a couple things you need to know. First, when you tame a creature or animal, it must make its way back to your camp. The further your camp is away from the taming location, the more perilous the journey will be for that animal. In other words, it could be killed along the way. Secondly, know that each animal takes up camp budget. The larger the animal is, the more budget it will take up. Don't go out looking to get your hands on an animal if you have little to no budget above ground. Thirdly, you can only have one tamed animal in your camp at one time. While I was looking for the Mega Sloth, I tamed virtually everything because I wanted to have something in its place until I finally got it. Also, just like in real life, your tamed animal or creature can die or disappear. It's part of Fallout 76. I just want you to be prepared because one day you may log in and your attack dog has been killed by some Scorch that just happened to spawn next to your camp. And lastly, your animal or creature is tethered to the radius of your camp placement. Here's an image to give you an idea how large or how small this area can be. And that's how you tame a creature or animal in Fallout 76. I hope this comprehensive video has answered all your questions, so please just take a second to give it a thumbs up. If you're stuck somewhere or want to share some taming experiences, please leave us a comment down below. I or someone in our community just might have some helpful information to share. And with that, this is the Naked Vault Dweller, and thanks for watching. Do you know how we got here? No. How about a nice game of chess? Yes. Have you heard the one about the Protectron and a red rocket? It depends. Are you lonely? <laughs>